Good morning, everyone. It is, I guess, the second week of January, and it is raining, and a couple of my events today have been canceled. So I decided to do a uh, what I ate today video because two of them are actually kind of already meal prepped from the other night. So I don't know, thought it'd be a fun time to do it. Thank you to HelloFresh for working with me on this video. We will be working a lot together this year, so just hang tight. And as always, there is a discount code later on in the video, so stick around for that. So guys, I actually made my very own yogurt. Can you believe it? Let's see if it is turning out. Yes, 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 yes. And then this is about uh, one and a half days after I made it. And it looks pretty good and I'm hungry, so I'm just gonna go for it. It's not my recipe. I got it from High Carb Hannah, which some of you guys recommended to me, so I appreciate you. I appreciate you recommending me to her. She is incredible. So I'm going to um, link her video in the description box and in this little card for you to check out but this is what i did something i've also been making and really enjoying is actually ginger tea i'm gonna make more today because this is all we have left of what i made bye bye and it's just really easy ginger is really great for your digestive system and i like to add lemon and honey to it as well and brian's feeling a little under the weather so hopefully that'll help his him not feeling very well so as I'm making Brian his breakfast, what I'm doing right now is I'm just boiling some water and all you need is ginger. Bye. Let that simmer for, I guess, like 15 minutes. Okay, so the water has been simmering for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna take out the ginger, add some lemon. This is one whole lemon. And then I'm adding some agave you can use honey or not add it or whatever but i like it and then you can either have it hot or cold i personally like it cold but since it's hot anyways probably just drink some hot ginger tea with my breakfast today i wanted to share this with you guys it is a grain free granola from autumn's gold i got it at costco it's paleo certified, grain free, gluten free, non GMO, and a lot of people love Costco. But if you're all about eating healthily and quality wise, it's probably not the best place for you to go. But this is one of the better things that I saw in Costco because it's basically just the ingredients it says. So if you ever go to Costco, this is something I would recommend. I'm gonna assemble my parfait with granola, some of my homemade yogurt we're just gonna i guess do this and that yogurt is really good i used soy milk and it's not it's tangy but it's not as tangy so i think i kind of like it better and then some fruit and then i think i'm just gonna top it off with some cinnamon because why not agave and then on top of my parfait because i am feeling a little hungry I uh, cut up some apples, then I'm going to use some almond butter to spread on it. I wanted to share this with you. Um, paleo, vegan, gluten-free, super healthy. You guys know how I feel about using palm oil in my food. I think it's a dirty industry and I want no part of it. And this just has no oil in it. It's just seeds and nuts, which is pretty cool. And here is what I ate for breakfast to Day. should hold me over actually until lunch so and Brian's already done with his all right so I'm about to shoot it is noon now but I just wanted to show you guys this is cool down ginger water and I'm just going to put it in my little thingy ah okay well we are going to put it in the refrigerator a little later. Hello, this is the day before my uh, What I Ate Today video. I'm prepping my soba. Now, um, a lot of you have been asking me to post my soba recipe. This is basically it. The only thing I'm not doing is the halibut, mostly because halibut is really expensive and because I'm on a budget these days, I can't really go spending 
$30 on a pound of halibut, so, you know, we're just not gonna do that right now. But we're gonna prep everything else. It's really easy to prep and perfect for um, meal prepping because honestly, the longer it sits, the better it tastes. So let's get to starting. I'm gonna cut one carrot, some radishes, which I always have on hand. Radishes are really great. Um, sauteed they're great raw and they're great in this like little soba salad and then this is daikon all right so here is everything cut up i just did slices of the radishes and julienne did the daikon and then carrots take so damn long to cut so i just took a peeler to it and uh just gonna put in some tupperware Okay, for the ponzu sauce, right now we have a fourth of a cup of water. If you're in LA, just make it filtered because, you know, LA. Um, and then we're gonna add half of a cup of gluten-free soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, one and a half tablespoons of lime, and then one tablespoon of ginger, and then some scallions. Mix it up. Since I added more lime and probably more than a tablespoon of ginger in there, it's definitely a little bit more spicy, but it's good. And it's ponzu sauce, it's not baking, so you can add or take out ingredients however you want. So this is the ponzu sauce. We will just add it to this container and put it in the fridge. All of these are staples in my pantry, ginger, lime, lemon all these sauces and uh, green onions. If you didn't know that you can regrow green onions, just don't cut them, just don't cut the root off and then add it back into water when you're done. You see, it's starting to grow. So in the fridge it goes and it will be ready for whenever we are ready to make our food. So here is the ponzu section right here. Okay, so it is the next day and let us, oh my god, okay, well I guess I can finish that. Grab our accoutrements. Now this, people, is the only soba brand that I would ever recommend, okay? These are buckwheat noodles. I one time couldn't find this at a store and I had to go with another version and it was just the worst. So definitely pick this up. This will definitely give me leftovers. Even with this, Brian and I still have a little leftovers. So this should be good for maybe like two and a half servings. We are just going to cook the soba per the instructions. Boil it for four minutes and then rinse it under cold water. Because when you rinse it under cold water, just like spaghetti, it'll stop the cooking. And then your noodles won't be like chewy and overcooked. So here is the soba. Nice and cool. Take these vegetables, remember all these vegetables? Bloop. Take some toasted sesame oil. Um, Trader Joe's actually has a really good one. This isn't from Trader Joe's. I think I got it at an Asian market. Um, like a tablespoon or I don't know, however much. Not too much, because it's quite a strong flavor. So add your noodles and your veggies into this bowl. And now you can just put this in the fridge for later. Okay, and our ponzu that we made yesterday. I'm gonna just put it on top. I actually make this meal right here a lot just because all the ingredients I always carry. This with the halibut is one of Brian's favorite meals that I make, so. And it's really clean and really healthy for you. If you can think of another protein that would taste really good with this, let us know in the comments. Okay, you know, when I do these videos, I really should care more about what I look like because this is scary. So I'm gonna start making my HelloFresh bell pepper and black bean quesadilla for dinner because I am starving as you can see. Here's the box that it came in. And then this is what it's supposed to look like. There's a side salad. Again, I got the vegetable option. There are three different types of meal plans for you to choose from. There's the classic 
veggie, which is the one I got again, and then the family, which I guess is the family one supposed to serve four, and then the classic is just a variety of meat and fish. You guys know I've been using HelloFresh for a really long time, and I'm going to be working with them throughout the year. A couple things I like about them is, one, you can check out their schedule um, online, like their recipe schedule, to see what dates go with what recipes, which is why sometimes I flip between the classic uh, the classic box and the veggie box depending on what looks good to me. You can also choose your delivery date. If I'm out of town, I like to schedule my HelloFresh box deliveries to come in as the day I get into town so I don't have to worry about what I'm going to eat for the next couple days. It's already taken care of for me. And then, you know, since I'm going out of town for my birthday, um, I can press pause on the delivery so it's not just like sitting there and waiting and I get to save money. So it's all, you know, super convenient and really flexible. Woohoo! Every time I get my HelloFresh bags, oops, it feels like it's Christmas, like I'm unwrapping a Christmas present, you know. All right, again, everything in here is pre-measured and pre-packaged, so I don't have to worry about buying ingredients. All you really need is olive oil, salt, and pepper, but everyone has that. So. So the first step is to chop all the vegetables and as always make sure you have a little towel under your cutting board so the board doesn't move while you're using your knife skills because we don't want anyone ending up in the hospital. And then when you have lime or lemon be sure to roll it in between your hands first before cutting it in order to get those juices flowing. Oh, it's so much softer already. All right, so here is our mise en place. Everything is prepped and ready to go. I figured this was for the salad, so I already put it in a separate bowl, and then I assume, I don't know what we're doing with this yet, but we'll just throw that in there. Assume this is gonna be sauteed, let's see. Cooked veggies. All right, we're on point here. Good that I'm finally doing some cooking in this video, isn't it, huh? Dang, look at how good and well-rounded that looks. So the good thing is, is I didn't cook the other portion of this meal because Brian's not here, so I can just cook it up tomorrow for uh, lunch or dinner because everything is already made. I just need to make it into the quesadilla. So that is awesome, that never happens. But as always, I got a discount code coming to you because we're good like that. If you want $30 off your very first HelloFresh box, use the code AsiaDang30 when you check out at HelloFresh.com. Mmm, this is good. I actually never thought to make a vegetarian quesadilla because when I think quesadilla, I think meat. But this is actually quite meaty considering that there's just beans and vegetables in it. So that's also what I like about HelloFresh is that you get these like cool dinner or meal ideas. One of the only things Brian ever makes, ever, is a recipe that we got from HelloFresh like last year. So HelloFresh, thank you for convincing my boyfriend that he can in fact cook in the kitchen. Ah, oh, Loki. I'm going to eat this Ghirardelli chocolate square. Not for you! Sorry, you're not allowed, to, not allowed on here, dude. I don't normally have these, but I took one from my office the other day. And uh, truth be told, the like caramel one. Oh, finish this, finish my tea, and then go to sleep because I am tired. Hope you enjoyed this What I Ate Today video. As always, it was pretty random, but that is my life. The HelloFresh uh, discount code and direct link is in the description box. If you want to check it out, just tap on that. And that's it. I'll see you guys later. Good night. Bye.